Hi everyone and welcome back to the 300 bird challenge where we're trying to see 300 different bird species and our final video in Florida. We're in Gainesville, specifically on the Choya Trail. What's the name of the park, Sarah? Payne's Prairie Reserve. Let's see if we can add any new birds on our final day in Florida. Stay tuned, we'll be back after this. Quite a lot of bird song this morning. Heard downy woodpecker, a uh, brown headed cowbird, which would be our first in Florida, uh, northern perula, Carolina wren. Carolina wren, a few other things that I'm forgetting right now. <laughs> um, maybe some other things you might have recognised in the background. Everything's quite high up though, so we're hoping something will show for us. Payne's Prairie Preserve State Park is quite a large area of prairie habitat located southeast of Gainesville. There's a couple of primary entrance points. We decided to begin on La Chua Trail, which is towards the north end of the preserve. Loads of old man's beard hanging from the trees in this region of Florida, a lichen in the Usnea genus, if I'm saying that correctly. I think this specific species might be bushy beard lichen. A couple of Carolina wrens, northern cardinals, and the woods in general soon gave way to a boardwalk over marsh to our left and prairie to our right. We'd been looking for a limpkin for a while and finally saw one in our recent video we released. Of course, they were now popping up quite frequently for us, like this one on the edge of the marsh, and another one perched up here, and another one, just to prove the old adage about waiting all day and then three come along at once. Crossing the boardwalk we saw a blue coloured bird in the distance, at first assuming it might just be an indigo bunting, but maybe it's something a bit more exciting. A little bit worried because things were starting out quiet, but we have just seen another limpkin and a lifer. It's a little bit distant, maybe we can get better views of it, but we got it. Blue Grosbeak, that was one of the top target birds we had. Florida, just seen it perched up high, we heard it sing a little bit. Pretty cool, we'd like to see it closer. Let's see if that happens. But we're pleased to have seen it at all. Let's keep going along what is now a boardwalk, see if we can pick anything else up. Call to see the limpkin too. We hear sandhill cranes in the background. <clears throat> I'm sure you can too, they're pretty loud. There were indeed sandhill cranes. Their call is so loud, I've actually had to decrease the volume in this footage so that I don't deafen you with it. This pair were quite tame, allowing us close enough to get some good shots. Not sure how tame this creature is though. Two or three white crowned sparrows were foraging, mostly immature birds with their brown tan crowns, but here's a mature adult with that striking white crown. Another nearby sparrow, this is a new one for the year, Savannah Sparrow. Well, I don't know if you can hear the call of the Santil crane, it's a very quiet and subtle call, <laughs> echoing off the hills. Uh, we just saw a white crowned sparrow too, we've already seen one of those earlier this year but it was a juvenile so we got to see the nice breeding plumage of that fella. Um, just saw some kind of raptor fly overhead, might be a northern harrier, we're not sure, see if we can track that down or anything else. Though I didn't get a very clear shot, it was indeed a northern harrier. At the end of the trail we reached a fence and just beyond it, some wild boar. On our way out we got up close with a great blue heron which let me capture some very fine detail in that dangerous beak. Oh and look who's showed up to give us much better views than we had earlier, that blue gross beak we were so pleased to see here in Florida. Okay it's time for us to move on but we saw lots of nice things including finally getting a slightly brief but closer look at blue gross beak 
lifer. Glad to see that. Yeah, a bit of a specialty for further down south here. We are now moving on to somewhere quite sweet, but to find out where, you'll have to stay tuned until after this quick break. Told you we were coming somewhere sweet. We are at Sweetwater Wetland Park. See if we can pick anything new up here. We've already heard Carolina Wrens having a bit of a face off and there's a white-eyed vireo in the background we can hear, although it's quite well hidden. We'll see if we can pick up any new species or anything else cool here. Sweetwater Wetlands Park is just a few minutes north, still near Gainesville, so I won't bother with a map this time. As our Florida trip comes to an end, we're beginning to move back to where we started this video series a few weeks ago, towards Tampa Airport. In the meantime, we walked a few paths and boardwalks that encircle the wetlands. The plant life was quite dense in a lot of areas. It's very well hidden, but Sarah just spotted a Sora. It was difficult to shoot it through the reeds, but we got, uh, we got views of it. Not the clearest of shots, but a difficult bird to spot, so nice to find this Sora. We moved from the boardwalk to some paths and some more open waters. Out here we saw the inevitable palm warblers and the usual herons you would expect. Here's a black crowned night heron, plus we saw great blues, tricoloured and snowy egrets. I filmed a little blue heron for a bit, figuring it would probably be the last time that I'd see one for a while. We had good views of a statuesque green heron, and watching everything unfold below this red-shouldered hawk. As we were leaving, this crow, not sure if it's a fish crow or an American crow, was showing off its egg capture. Okay guys, that place consists of three cells. We walked around one of them and stuck our heads into the other two, saw a few herons and things. Got kind of uh, obstructed but cool views of the Sora, which Sarah spotted with her keen eye. We're now heading back to... Payne's Prairie State Preserve. Which is kind of split into two different areas. So we did the one trail, we're now going to a much larger area. Um, we, we came to Sweetland because it's kind of in the middle of the two. We're going to head there next, but it has started raining, so I think we're going to take another quick break, get some coffee, something to eat. We'll see you on the other side. Okay, we're back at Payne's Prairie. We're making our way to an observation tower towards the back of the visitor's centre. There are American bison here, so we'll see if we can get views of those. Got very distant views from the visitor's centre. Maybe we'll get better views from here, as well as see whatever birds we can find. We climbed the observation tower, which is located at the southern portion of Payne's Prairie, not far from our previous two stops. Couldn't see much without binoculars and lenses, but a few American bison at great distance. and a few feral horses out on the plains too. These feral horses live as wild, descended from the domesticated horses that arrived along with Spanish settlers. Okay, well, we saw the bison from the top of the observation tower, a bit wobbly, and also some feral horses, for feral is the correct term. The only wild horses in the world are... Przelski's horses. Found in... Russia. Any horses that appear wild in North America or elsewhere are previously domesticated and since released and have become feral. So there you go, there's my asinine fact of the day. Uh, the canopy here on this visitor's trail, that's not what it's actually called is it, but we'll call it that. Wakahuta Trail. Wakahuta Trail is extremely high so I'm not sure we'll get too many birds on camera but we'll give it a shot uh, and then we'll see what happens after that. We walked the short circular Wakahoocha Trail, spotting another Carolina wren and a few other birds that it was difficult to get good footage of. Case in point, this blue-grey gnatcatcher. 
lots of bird song, but it's stuff we've already seen. Carolina Wren, very noisy. White Hide Vireo, Northern Cardinal. We heard a summer tanager, um, but nothing unusual. As I say, the tree canopy is really high, hard to get stuff on camera. So we may move on shortly after a, a snack break, maybe. Another one, yeah. This next shot is terrible, I'm afraid, but it's a lifer, yellow-throated warbler. Sorry we couldn't show you a better shot, but it's the only one we saw on the whole trip. We walked some more trail and saw a couple of cool insects. This beautiful looking butterfly is a pipe vine swallowtail, fairly common in most of the US, but rarely venturing too far into Canada. And this may look like a bee, but it's actually a type of robber fly. Robber flies feeding habits are a little bit morbid, so if you want to know more, maybe look it up. I'm not 100% sure what species this is, but it's a member of the Lafria genus. The bee mimic rubber flies, and you can see why it looks just like a bee. We took a brief pause near a lake before leaving. So unfortunately, it's time for us to start making our way towards Tampa. No offence to Tampa, but it is where the airport is, and today is our last day here. We may have one more stop, let's see. Talk to you in a bit. Bye. Bye. Welcome back. We decided to squeeze in one more stop before we had to leave Florida for good. Okay, welcome back. Once again, you find us in random forest with Lacucci State Forest. We're on a lead for the red cockaded woodpecker again. We understand that they like this kind of tree, whatever that is, this hairy one here. And there are plenty of those around. Um, a few of them have been stripped. So we feel like we're in a fairly decent spot for them. Uh, otherwise, no sign of them so far. We don't really have very long. We have to get to our next hotel. So we'll take a look. Stay tuned. Let's have a look around. We saw some chatter from someone who saw a nest of red cockaded woodpeckers in this forest. The small trails that run through it are numbered, so we had a little more idea than in our last video when we were looking blindly. This time, we even saw some trees with suspected woodpecker activity. So uh, Slash Pine is the name of the tree. We have a pretty decent contender here with lots of uh, cavities in it. But unless this woodpecker shows for us or it vocalizes, it's a pretty long shot. Having said that, we can hear chickadees. And um, the species found here is Carolina chickadee. There is no black-capped chickadee in this area, so if I can get a camera on one of those, that would be a lifer, actually, and a new bird, a 300 bird challenge. I know we had a good way to maybe have a bit of a high at the end of this video. Let's see if we can get one of these. A couple dropped into view. New lifer, Carolina chickadees, look incredibly similar to black cap chickadees, but anyone more familiar with the black cap chickadee will be able to hear their different call here in the background. In fact, where these two bird species have overlapping range, from around the Mason-Dixon line to just south of the Great Lakes, the best way to tell them apart is by their differing vocalisations. Okay, I think we're giving up on this woodpecker, unfortunately. Curses! But we did get the Carolina chickadee. Not a very good shot, and it looks a lot like a black cap, but you can hear the vocalisations in the video footage and tell that it's different. So we're counting that, that's a lifer, new bird. And yellow-throated Vireo was vocalising a lot for us, and I don't know if I got it on camera. Tried to watch it back, but the screen is so small it's hard to say. So, did we see it? Did we not see it? We're going to have to look at that footage to know. Anyway, we definitely got the chickadee. So, moving on, we have to go back to our hotel now. Boo! No more birding. That's the end of our Florida trip. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll be just back in a second to say a little bit more. Before we go, here's that yellow-throated Vireo footage. It's terrible, out of focus, and blocked by foliage, but we saw and heard it and got a positive ID, and it is technically on camera, so we're going to count this one. Sorry again for another bad shot. Well, that's the last bird and the last trail. Bye for now, Florida. 
viewers stay tuned a little longer so we can say goodbye properly and talk about some of our favorite stories and experiences from this Florida trip. Well, we're in our Tampa hotel near the airport. All good things have to come to an end, and that includes our trip to Florida. So until next time, that's the end of this series, but stay tuned to the channel. In the meantime, I thought maybe we could summarize some of what we saw, what we enjoyed. Egrets, we saw a few. Snowy, cattle, and a great one too. Don't forget the reddish. If only everyone could dance around as happily as a reddish egret. Sarah, what were some of the birds that you really enjoyed seeing on this trip, would you say? Uh, the grey-headed swamp hen, uh, limpkin, because it's a Florida specialty. Um, I liked both the snail kite, although it would be nice to have better views, and the swallowtail kite, and the screech owl, even though we do oh, get them at home. Yeah. Snail kite and limpkin, I think, were particularly good parts for video purposes. There were things we wanted to see, and the video culminated in the point where we saw those birds. So that was pretty cool. I also liked seeing the prairie warbler as well. That was early on at Honeymoon Island, which was also one of my favourite places that we visited. The first place we visited, despite all the mosquitoes, that was pretty cool. What were some of your favourite places? Uh, I liked Corkscrew Swamp, even though we didn't see a ton there. Um, it was just a really cool atmosphere. Fort DeSoto was great, even though we only scratched the surface of it. Um, I liked where we went today to Payne's Prairie Reserve. Um, I feel like that um, had a lot of potential and we, even, we had uh, a good few moments there. Corkscrew was pretty awesome because it had so many different Everglades based environments. Yeah, I would agree with some of those. I also liked to try tortugas, tortugas just for some of the cool birds that we saw there as well. Boobies, noddies, magnificent frigate birds, all that malarkey. Anyway guys, thanks for watching this video. Thanks for following the series along. Hello to everyone from Florida that watched with us. Final time for this series, please hit the like button that will help other people find the channel. Please leave us a comment, tell us what birds you liked best in this series, which locations you liked, any other feedback. And finally, if you're not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button, hit the bell icon, you'll get notifications whenever we post new videos. The good news is, coming up, Point Pelee, we're going to smash some warblers back in Ontario, so stay tuned. As soon as I can whack together all the editing work I've got on this series, hopefully Pelee will be coming along soon for you guys. Thanks for watching, see you soon, bye for now, happy birding! Bye!